I got very interested recently in being able to back up older five and a quarter floppy disks. And it's not an easy process as you might think. And the reason is that they never really made external USB five and a quarter floppy drives. So what I had to do is get an internal drive and those are usually exposed. Uh, their guts are always coming out. Uh, and so what I did is that I used an old enclosure from a broken DVD drive and that fit perfectly. It even matched in color and that gave it some protection and actually made it look really professional as if it was made for this purpose, but I was just lucky. And I used a, a power supply that came with one of those older IDE uh, copiers. And then I used the original uh, ribbon cable that came with it and connected it to something called the SuperCard Pro, which I purchased from CBM Stuff uh, online. And I just protected it with a 3D printed case that was uh, designed to cover it nicely and give it, uh, you know, a good look and, and feel. And then I connected my USB cable to my workstation. And I'm going to show you now what I had to do to be able to back up this Commodore 64 game that I had called uh, Red Storm Rising. <clears throat> But first, uh, one thing that's worth mentioning is that these floppy disks and drives, they uh, deteriorate, like I said, o over time rapidly. And uh, because of the nature of these drives, they need to be cleaned on a regular basis. So every once in a while, when you try to do a backup, you might face uh, that the backups are, uh, are no good. So uh, you'd have to clean them and I use this disk drive head cleaner to do uh, to do the job and it worked quite nice. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how I went through the whole process. I'm going to put in my disk over here, lock it. And this is the software that came with the SuperCard Pro. Uh, I'm going to use the defaults actually, but in some cases you might need to change those defaults settings. And I'm going to choose here that the file type is C64 the disk type and I'm gonna choose my source to be the actual drive itself and the destination is gonna be an image file called the G64 uh, and I'm gonna choose that because that's what most emulators for the con uh, uh, for the Commodore 64 use so I'm gonna <clears throat> hit make an image and I'm gonna call it Red Storm Rising and then I'm gonna accept and you can watch the progress and hear that beautiful sound from the 80s. You even have some nice LED lights that indicate that uh, the backup is progressing. And once that's done, once that's done, you'll see that my file is generated here. And I have my Vice Commodore 64 emulator here. So I'm going to just open that file that I just created. Okay. There you go, it's loading. It might take a couple of uh, seconds here. Bear with me. Let's see how long this thing takes. Hopefully not too long. I'm not gonna pause. There we go. That was not too bad. Anyway, the best thing about this is that the process is entirely reversible. So what I can do is take an image file, but I can't do that for the G64 image file. I would have to uh, use the Flux image file and use as the destination the SuperCard uh, Pro drive. And basically this allows me to back up my image to a physical uh, floppy disk. So if I want to preserve this guy, keep it on the side and then use another floppy disk and uh, put insert that in my original Commodore and play with that file, I can do that. Anyway, for now I'm gonna enjoy this game on my emulator. See ya!